mehr. It's time. I am. I am. I um, realized that I hadn't written about her. <sighs> I was thinking of the paintings, and I hadn't, I hadn't written about her. So it's, I started writing. <sighs> and this one is titled. She is me. She is love. I'm dedicated to the reflection of me painted. <laughs> By Jose Jesus Cisneros. Breaker of rules and constructs. Artist and thinker. I, I looked up and saw her <laughs> singled out in a space full of old souls in a building full of lost treasures and memories of past lives. I looked up and saw her. I saw me. I looked up and saw her. The left is the past, the right is the future, but she is stuck in the middle, looking up. I looked up and saw her, looking up to the stars, to the heavens for help. She is looking outside of herself for herself. I looked up and saw her. Wide hips twisted with a hole in her heart. Broken. She's running away. Away from what? I looked up and saw her. My heart hurts as I admire her. I realize she is caught somewhere in the middle, like me. I looked up and saw her. <sighs> All the elements are with her air, the always shaded blue sky, water, the dark transparent <laughs> ocean, earth, the grounded yet movable sand, fire, she is running, movement, action, fire. I looked up and saw her. <laughs> Where is she running? To her past, towards the ocean, for healing, with the guidance of her higher self. <laughs> The feminine energy within us all is calling, <laughs> calling out <laughs> to us for balance. <laughs> Shh, 
listen. She is within you. Within us. I looked up and saw her. I really saw her. I saw me. She is me. She is love. I am love. <laughs> so that came out this morning. <laughs> And, um, I decided to take a nap. I decided to take a nap. Because, you know, when you're just, when you're all in it, it's just consuming. Right? And I was tired. And I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> but I needed a nap. And, um, <laughs> I had a dream. I had a dream. Um, the, the future's changing. <laughs> I, um, uh, it was weird. It was interesting. The only part that stands out, I, my client, the one who in the other dream was helping me build people's shoes. She was in it. We were, we were coming back from an event. It was like a, it, you know what it was? It was, it felt like it was the gem show. Some type of show, gem show. And they were scolding the person who I went with because they lied. Uh, they said they were only bringing a certain number of people, but they brought more. They showed up and were trying to sneak other people in. So they were getting kicked out. And I didn't know that that, that person had done that. And so by default, because they were my right, I was getting And I was putting my stuff in the trunk. And there was, and I get in the car. It always felt, felt like they were, they had forgotten that I went with them. I was one of the original people that went. But by the time I got back to the car, there was a lot of other people that I didn't know. And, uh, so I get in the car in the back. The front seat is, t is full of all the people, but I'm in the back seat. And it's not as full, but there's stuff in the back. Mary's there. I didn't see Mary. She died. But she's in my dream. And she's sitting on me. Like, on the, like, and I'm like, why are you sitting on me when there's all this space? And she said something about that I needed to move some stuff. I'm like, yeah, let me move it. And in the process of me doing that, I realized that I left my table at the, um, where we were at, the event. And all of a sudden, I'm in this little room. It reminded me of the rooms I used to use for therapy. My client is there. The one who was helping me initially in the other dream. She was helping me build people's shoes. Excuse me, but in this dream, she's drawing. She's trying. 
and I ask her because she's somehow driving but she's in the room like like she I, I think it's like either I'm asking her because everyone else is gone or because we're working together I don't know but I'm asking her can you take me back can you turn around no she was driving but she's in the room and I'm telling her in the room but she's driving can you turn around I left my table we weren't that far away from the event she looks up at me and she's thinking and she goes back down she says just go ahead and then she says no and I was like why not and then she says my mom needs me I was like oh and I know she's not going to help me anymore and at that moment I have to be okay with letting go of my table because I had no other ride No, that's what she said. She said, no. I have to stay with my mom. That's what she said. And I woke up and the first thing in my mind is that the future is changing. So it's all potential future. It's all potential energy then. What makes sense? With the exception of the moment, unless that one's just in this. No, yeah, that makes sense. Future's changing. Her future's changing. It's just potential energy. It's just potential energy. That is. With the exception of when I ask for guidance in that moment. real then. Well, I guess if it's in the moment, it'll get confirmed. <laughs> Maybe I'll send her an email to see. But I wonder. She has a lot going on. I wonder if she's going to end it. Services, I mean. Not continue anymore. And that's why I'm getting that dream. My name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us. Um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth, this just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button.
button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t-shirt designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node. Um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is you know, great. <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step be vulnerable, you know, with, with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth. We realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were. And so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience it, and you, that you find some type of truth for yourself or, or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just, just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and, you know, we'll see what else um, comes next for me.